Hello, and welcome to Video Jug and our series on spaceflight. Following the successful launch of seven Mercury space rockets between 1959 and 1963, NASA and the United States were falling behind the USSR in the space race. Russia had launched the first satellite, Sputnik. They had launched the first man into space, Yuri Gagarin, and had even had a woman cosmonaut in space, Valentina Tereshkova. The Mercury flights had been manned by only one astronaut, but NASA knew that if they wanted to get to the moon, it would take a crew of at least three astronauts. The Gemini program was the name of NASA's next small step on the road to that giant leap for mankind. Gemini rockets consisted of a larger Titan rocket and a two-man capsule. The name Gemini itself comes from the zodiac Gemini the Twins. On April 8, 1964, the first unmanned Gemini rocket was test-launched at Cape Canaveral, Florida. With the first manned flight coming a year later on March 23, 1965, when ex-Mercury astronaut Virgil Gus Grissom joined John Young on board Gemini 3 for three orbits of the Earth. Over the next 18 months, nine Gemini rockets were launched to test various operations. Gemini 4 took James McDivitt and Ed White for their first walk in space. Gemini 5 kept Gordon Cooper and Pete Conrad in space for a week performing 120 orbits of the Earth. Gemini 7, carrying Frank Borman and James Lovell, rendezvoused with Gemini 6 in December 1965, carrying Wally Shearer and Tom Stafford. Neil Armstrong and Dave Scott almost lost their lives in Gemini 8, while during a rendezvous with an unmanned Agena rocket, both craft began tumbling uncontrollably. Tom Stafford and Eugene Cernan had to retest the rendezvous again in Gemini 9 after its failure during Gemini 8. Gemini 10, in July 1966, was manned by Michael Collins and John Young, making it his second flight into space. Gemini 11 docked with an Agena rocket and took astronauts Pete Conrad and Gordon Cooper to an altitude of 1,200 kilometers above the Earth. The Gemini program came to an end in November 1966 when James Lovell and Edwin Buzz Aldrin spent nearly five hours walking in space. The stage had now been set for the Apollo program that would eventually land a man on the moon in less than three years' time. For more intriguing facts on spaceflight, check out our other videos here on Video Jug.